Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sonic's channel. Today, we're going to be uh, unboxing and reviewing the Gundam Death Cypel of the Robodama machine. So, this is probably like my second Robodama machine that I ever bought, but I just always left it at the backlog and then just completely forgot that I actually bought it. So, you know, let's just take a quick look. So, at the cover, we can see that th that's the uh, that's how I've held with the shield blade and then we flip it to the back and then we can see that uh, the description we can see there are two types of handle of the scythe we have a banded one and we have a standard one and there's also the cover that you can open as well so now let's just take it out of the box and then you know take a quick look about it and then we're gonna need the instruction menu as well so okay let's take a look at the instruction menu first so we can see we have uh four type of hands we have the fist hand the hand for the weapons and then we have a hand with a shape like this and then we have the open hand and then we have the instruction for the scythe for the backpack for the wings and for the blade and also a also a different type of handles and then we're just gonna open this up very carefully and very gently Ooh. okay now let's take that take out the main thing and then you know take a quick look at it so this is the that side held before it puts on anything so we can see there's some screws at the back we can see um all kinds of stuff and oh it is actually quite tight ah it's it's actually doing a quite a good job and you can see the scale it it looks like a revive version of the or the remake version from the bandai uh i wish like the wing gundam series actually got a all those xg uh a XGAC is it XGAC series revive version rework um we recently have the Zendrock at September oh is is it at September or October is that is nearly that time we have a XGAC rework version of the Zendrock coming out the other three should be pretty close but uh spoiler alert I do have another wing wing series that I didn't take out to review uh, anyway, we're going to take a quick look. As you can see, uh, all the head detail, it gives a pretty clear detail as well. We can see those white part on the head as well. And also, now we're going to take out the wings and then, you know, we're going to take a look at it. So the wings here, it move, it's completely free to move. And the painting on it, it looks great. There's no flaws. There's no mistakes. Uh, it looks quite good. And now, we're going to need to take a look at the backpack so this is the backpack unit we can see the thrust is painted to a pretty silver color i like it and it's ball joint and then now we have the shield so the shield is always the point so the shield here you can close it and then you can open it as well oh oh it moves at the same time great oh that's good we can see this gold color oh psh. Uh, we can see this gold color it looks pretty good i like it i like this kind of gold color and then we flip it to the back we can see the the screws on the back of this shield okay now let's put it back we have two types of handles down here we will say later okay now we take out the beam saber part and then we now take a look at it so this time uh the shape is pretty well done um but the color, I feel like it can be a little bit lighter because now it looks like too dark for the green color. I prefer it will be a little light. It, if it's a little lighter, then I think it's completely fine. But the color overall, it doesn't have much problems. Hmm. All right. Now we, we already take a quick look at this. So why not, why not just jump straight into the review and let's take a closer look to the Robot Amashi. guys and then now we're gonna start the review and uh before i jump into the details i just want to you know give a little quick impression about the all-around look about the colors and what is different than the old fairy mode so if you build the very old 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 mode like 2001 90, 90, the 90s um you will notice that uh the scale is different um because 
I think back in the days when they have the model release, it was about this tall, right? It's about around this red piece here. So there's a height different. Um, and also I, I can tell that they added a lot of extra color detail to, you know, make it a little more realistic. Um, and I absolutely love the love this painting as well. Uh, so far, I don't see any flaws in the painting. Uh, I don't see any miscolor or you know uh, paint the paint scratching off the uh, problem. I so so far I don't see that problem. But I do notice one problem is because this um, uh, gambler they actually give us a lot of bone joints, and I really and I noticed that if you move it too much the bone joint is very easy to pop off. So this is the thing that I noticed. And <clears throat> and uh, I must say though, uh, this right now I'm showing you what it looks like when the, when the outside armor is closing up. And when you close it, uh, it's gonna affect the articulation a lot. So when I show the articulation, I will be removing these two uh, clock and then um, just to give you a look of the articulation right now so let's look at the head so the head um is painted pretty well and it gives you a little white detail on the head as well the head can move up and down and then you know um just turning side to side very normally as well um it's pretty hard to turn for some reason and the antenna this time is not as sharp and i do find the first flaw i remember i said there's no flaw uh you can sign you can find that somebody sent the antenna and actually kind of make it kind of make it not balanced but okay we can't accept that but anyway this is about the head so that's pretty much it now before we introduce everything we're just gonna need to move away the armor on the front first otherwise you cannot see any details on the gamble so now we we just officially open this so you can see it's openable so first we're gonna look at the torso the torso uh if you you know, use some imagination and think of it, it looks like skeleton. It looks like a skeleton uh, rib cage. It looks like the rib cage on the Gampla and I, f and I think it fits the theme of death. You know, this gun, this Gampla is based on Death Scythe Hell. So it's the name is called ba Death Scythe Hell. So of course it's going to relate it to death. And I feel like this part is pretty good. Um, it got a skeleton feature in it. So as you can see, there's a little ball, there's a little joint at the, at the torso that you can move front and back. And also you can move side to side for the, a very slight angle, but it's fine like this. And, you know, if you look at the waist, we can see that it's beautifully painted and then the size curve can be movable as well. And then turn it to the back, we can see these, the weapon, the weapon for the, uh, scythe. The scythe is actually on the back waist, so you can put it on and then you can take it out any later. And then, you know, we're just going to turn around and quickly look at the backpack. The backpack is nothing special. It's just one thruster with a ball joint that you can move. So overall, it's not really much to talk about. And yeah. All right, now let's close one side and then, you know, take a look of the armor. So first, uh, we can see it's beautifully painted. There's red parts, there's the gray part is completely uh, remolded. And then, you know, uh, all three pieces of armor, they can individually move and at the top here, and then on the top here is a little thruster here. So if we open this up, we can now extend the arms movement. So first I'm gonna move away all of it. So first the hand uh, can only move a certain angle because there's interruption from the armor. It can lift up 90 degrees as well. It can turn around as well. It can bend on the pre angle and it can also move on the arms here on the hands here so that's pretty much the that's pretty much the um arms articulation introduction and if we take a look of, if, if we take a close look on the shoulders you can see there's a little pain part of the thrusters as well and then now we're going to take a look at the legs the legs um it can kick to the side kick to the front uh it's actually pretty high angle and kick to the back so may i remind you though this robo machine have a little problem is that the waist part is a ball joint so it's very easily to pop out so please be careful and then you know the, the legs is very easily bent and it can re attract it back like the like an rg and this little piece of armor down here is ball joint as well so be careful when you move it 
uh, the legs, the feet here, you can, you can, there's a other joint in it, so you can move it. And as you can see here, the feet is beautifully painted. There's color separation on the tip of the feet. As you can see, there's some silver paint on the front. And yeah, so I would say though, the color painting is doing a quite good job. Now, so right now, let's take a look of the accessory part because there's not much to talk about on the body. So first we have uh, a lot of option hands. So this, this is the first one. This is the open hand for the death side pedal and then we also have a fist hand right here a fist hand if you can look at it closely a fist hand and then we also have a hand for you it's like a thumbs up hand for the side to hold it and then now we're going to introduce our baby right now this is the baby right here oops this is the baby right here. So as you can see, this is a scythe. So at the top and at the bottom here, both scythe can be movable and is functional as well. So as we can see, we can see the thruster on the scythe as well. The handle comes in two. We have this kind of, you know, uh, straight, kind of looks straight. And then we also have a curved one for the thumbs up hand to hold it. Like in the anime, where the anime, in the anime, like uh, where the scythe, you know, bends the scythe and then, you know, spin it around. Uh, you know which scene I'm talking about. Um, this is like a more band version for it. And yeah. So the scythe normally, as I said before, is stored on the back waist armor. But now we can see it's equipped with this B effect part. Uh, although I personally don't really like it. First, uh, the shape and the detail on it, uh, is a little bit, is a little bit too less. And also I don't like the color. It's a little too dark. It's supposed to be a little bit lighter, but okay. And then the third one here. Is actually, I personally think, besides the wings, is the is the is the shield. This is the, like the best part here. Like as you can see, if I just move one side, the other side will close it as well. So, it's moving together. It's moving together, and it's and I think it's pretty good. And of course, we do have a beam saber part, beam uh beam attachment on it. And then now, as you can see, we cannot equip on it. So equipping on the side gun, uh, the gun, the gun plug is pretty easy. You just find the, you just find the pick and then you just simply push in and done and done. And this is basically all the accessories came like the accessory that came with the gun plug. And I personally think though, there's not much to play with, but the only thing that you can buy is this in the detail and in the inner paint in the, wings as well as you can see there's a there is a lot of hidden details in the wings and there's a lot of hidden details on the gunplay itself but the only part that i think that uh, it could paint more is actually the feet the bottom of the feet i think they can you know paint a little bit more instead of just plain black but i would i can deal with it i think overall this is a pretty good gunplay and i and i and i really wish that bandai release a hg version so we don't have to constantly buy Robo Damashi just to get a good product. So yeah, this is basically the end of the review. There's not much to talk about on this gunpla. It's a pretty basic one. And I honestly need to say though, I really admire the painting and the details that do on it. It's definitely an upgrade and better than the old mode. But the problem is that uh, the articulation problem. So you see the articulation is very outstanding. It can bend in a lot of angles and a lot of parts can be moved. But the problem is, um, I just try to mess around with the gamma and I eventually find out the the legs the legs joint are way too sloppy and it's very easy and it's very easy to lose your pose or lose the articulation. Um I personally think that if you have the condition, I think you can do a little bit I think you can, you know, do a little bit of things about the uh, joints but I don't so I just have to live with it. But overall I feel like um this gamma is a very good one. Uh it's uh, it's extremely, it's extremely well detailed. It's better than HG one. I really wish they give us a revived version of the Gundam W, uh, all five of the Gundam W units. Right now we have the Wing Gundam and also the uh, Sand Rock. Um, so I'm not gonna buy the Sand Rock Robot Amashi, but um, so the f the last three we need is the Death Side Hell, the Heavy Arms, and the Ultron Gundam. And unfortunately, we have no news about it. We thought we're gonna get an Ultron. But um, it's just a fantasy. Not because just because you got build divers doesn't mean you got new molds. But anyway, uh, for for my pers perspective, is if you love this gunplay, you absolutely have to buy it. Like if you ask me, 
out of all five of the design in the Gundam Wing, I personally like this one the most. Although it might be, uh, although right now what I'm receiving is a little bit of sloppy and um, it's pretty hard to pose. But I just have to live with it. But the fact that I need to call, uh, make a very good uh, comment about it is that the hands are absolutely amazing. The scythe, when I stick the scythe into the hands, it actually doesn't slip. This is, uh, you know, slipping back and forward. Um, it's holding pretty well. Uh, this is a part that I like. It's not like a normal XG, you know, if you have those early XGs where, you know, get a beam saber into the hand, it will keep constantly slipping away. Um, not on this robot Damage, and I personally think this is doing a very good job. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's a short review and it's a pretty quick review. So, uh, I hope you guys like it. I will see you guys in another video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in another Gunpla review. Goodbye.